Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Hypixel Skyblock. Today I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on the Tarantula Slayer or the Spider Slayer in Hypixel Skyblock. Alright, now this is a very popular Slayer mainly because you can actually make a lot of money off of it, right? And it unlocks some very vital collections. First thing you can get from it is the Tarantula Helmet, which is used in a lot of Berserker setups. You can also get Fly Traps, uh, which uh, give a 20% buff to minions, which is very good. And I'm going to be showing you how to absolutely destroy Spider Slayer today. So the first thing we're going to discuss when fighting Tarantula Slayer is how to first get into it, right? So you're like a mid-game player, you have some dragon armors, how do you get into Tarantula Slayer? Well, the armor that's recommended is strong dragon armor, right? Uh, you can use superior dragon armor if you want, but that's quite expensive, so strong dragon armor is recommended, right? Or if you have a little bit extra money and you're going to invest a lot of time into Tarantula Slayer, you could use Tarantula Armor right here. So this is a full Tarantula set, it's going for about 2 mil in total. And if you pop it on right here, you'll see uh, the piece bonus. You can kill spiders to accumulate defense against them, alright? And that can go up to a lot of defense, that gives you a lot of extra defense. And full set bonus, Octo Dexterity. Every fourth strike, deal double damage and apply Venom. Reducing healing by 40% for 4 seconds. This set is very good against Tarantulas. It makes him an absolute breeze. It uh, supplies a lot of defense. It provides a lot of defense against them, which is quite needed as Tarantulas do qu uh, quite a lot of damage, right? Next, this for the sword, we're going to want any sword that basically does uh, 10,000 to 15,000 damage. So a good recommendation would be uh, like an aspect of the dragons that's on the more expensive side but you could use uh anything tarantula slayer doesn't really have a specific a specific sword to go with it but you can use uh, a lot of things just any basic sword will pr pretty much do any sword you use for zealot farming will do absolutely fine here now around a month ago i would have been telling you to use a jerry sheen gun which i believe i have yeah i'd have been telling you to use a jerry sheen gun uh, problem is the J Shin Gun's been absolutely nerfed like so much. It's been absolutely destroyed. There's no point in using it because you can only you can barely fire many. You can't fire many shots at all. All right. Uh, so I'd recommend not using the J Shin Gun, but you could still use it if you have a lot of mana. Also, something used for Spider Slayers is a Runan's bow. Right. I'd recommend having a Runan's bow like at all times. This is my Runan's bow right here, infinite quiver 10, and uh, the arrow's home to targets, just in case you thought they didn't, they still do. Alright, so finally for pets, of course, there is a tarantula pet right here. The tarantula pet uh, means you gain plus 40% combat XP from spiders, and decreases the mana slot of spider and tarantula boots. And uh, it, it basically just makes you a defensive powerhouse against tarantulas. There's also a spider pet, uh, which... It's like, um, like it's a it's a worse tarantula pet, but it also gives you plus thirty. Your spider and tarantula minions work thirty percent faster on your island, which is pretty good. Alright, so I'd recommend getting a spider or tarantula pet if you want, or you could use a wolf pet. Still, that's probably alright. Uh, this is the tarantula talisman right here. Every tenth melee hit on the enemy deals plus ten percent damage. Right, so that's good for tarantula slayer and general slayers. And finally, of course, tarantula minions. Uh, you can get from Tarantula Slayer. This is just basically the best minion in the game, apart from Voidling minions. So this is de you should definitely grind Tarantula Slayer to at least get Tarantula minions. All right, so we discussed like early game, mid game Tarantula Slayers. How about end game Tarantula Slayers? Right, if you have uh, a lot of money to invest in Tarantula Slayers, what do you do? All right, so for the armor, we're gonna want full Tarantula armor. Or we'll have uh, another set of armor that I'll talk about in a second. So tarantula armor or like any better armor like Necron armor or something. You could use Shadow Assassin would also be good. Uh, you, or Superior armor. Superior Dragon armor. Sword. For the sword you're going to want anything that does 30,000 to 35,000 damage consistently. So Aspect of the Dragons, Midas Sword. Uh, any swords like that will do fine. Livid Dagger, Flat FOT, you know. And the strategy. Uh, so power orbs are very important right for example a uh, mana flux power orb this will make like doing tier fours an absolute breeze you can get this from wolf slayer i have a tutorial on how to uh, beat wolf slayer really easily so i'll link that at the end of the video and you can watch that 
but the mana flux makes your life incredibly easy. Or radiant power orb still helps, okay? Uh, of course, you can use the same pets and everything. And uh, I'd recommend getting a dwarf turtle shell on a pet. That'd make it a lot easier because the tarantula likes to give you knockback. Anyway, let's talk about the strategy that I have been talking about, right? This is my secret strategy. So, if you're a mage in dungeons, what you could do, right, is put on your mage armor. This is my mage armor right here. It's a three quarter storm with a loving wise dragon chest plate because I still can't afford a storm chest plate. And you could use a mage weapon, right? So I'd recommend using the spirit scepter or uh, Midas staff, all right? And with that, it makes your life a hell of a lot easier, right? It basically means, because the tarantula boss uh, can be affected by magic damage. So it just means you can tear through the slayer incredibly easily. All right, so I'm gonna show you uh, me beating it with this strategy and the previous strategy. Uh, but this is definitely not an early game strategy. And finally, if you're really struggling, I'm just gonna say this before we, before we get into it, you can use a spirit mask, which uh, instead of dying, you gain plus 50 speed and damage immunity for three seconds, and as a 30 second cooldown. This works outside of dungeons. The bonzo mask doesn't, so I'm, uh, this is just a worst case scenario if you really are struggling to survive. All right, we're gonna start off uh, with tarantula, full tarantula set and a spider pet. R nice level right there. I don't have a tarantula pet, I only have a spider pet. And my sword that I'm going to be using is an AOTE, right? So this isn't going to do the most damage, and you should probably use a better sword, but it will do enough damage, alright? So, and we're just going to test this right here. So let's get the Maddox bat phone. We'll start with a tier 3. We'll do a tier 3, and then we'll do a tier 4 of my ultimate strategy right here. So let's do a tier 3. And I'll meet you back once we've uh, spawned the boss. All right, so let's spawn the boss in right here. So what you want to do is back yourself into a corner because the boss likes to knock you back and knock you around the place a lot. And then just once you're in this corner, just hit it over and over and over again. Okay, here we go. Last 100,000 health. And boom, there it is. So, a uh, turtle shelmet is recommended, definitely. Or you could use a turtle pet if you would like. Because that boss knocks you around a lot. But now, I'm going to show you my ultimate strategy, alright? So, we'll do a tier 4 right here. And we're going to put on full mage armor. Like this, alright? Full mage armor. Get, like, Midas staff out at the ready. Spirit scepter at the ready. Right, and I'm just going to speed run this, basically. You can use sheep pet as well, I'll use a sheep pet. And I, I could have used a mana flux power up then, I kind of forgot to use it. That would have sped it up a lot. Look how fast this is. And it's already spawned in. And now, you ready? And it's dead. <laughs> and I could have done that with a spirit scepter and it wouldn't have really taken much longer. So that is my ultimate strategy, which makes Spider Slayer incredibly easy for the small price of 100 million coins. <laughs> now, nah, the spirit scepter is only around 8 mil and 9 mil, and it makes it so much easier. And you could just use ultimate wise dragon armor. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. You can watch the Wolf Slayer tutorial uh, on the link here. And I'm going to have a tutorial for Zombie Slayer and Enderman Slayer soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.